Hello all. Right, this is one for a truck of Chris in an HGV, and Steve Campbell made the same point. And he says, have you ever come across a grumpy fork truck driver? And the short answer to this is, have I? <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing this a while now, yes. And that's not just uh, grumpy fork truck drivers, uh, grumpy people on gates, in distribution centres, people within distribution centres, grumpy people in general. Which is understandable, because not everybody's life goes according to plan, you don't always have the full story. But there are three things you can do. Let's take the, let's take the case of the fork truck driver. So, first thing what you've got to consider in all kinds of communication, I learned this at school, is aims and audience. What are my aims and who is my audience? Your aim is to get in, get loaded and get out as smoothly and as easily as you possibly can. Your audience, fortunately, is one of us. He's a worker. He's a driver. He's a gate man. He's not... Um, He's not in the upper echelons of the business. He's just a geezer or a lady just like you, a worker. So, three things you can do. Firstly, when you come up and you get he's got a mood on, first thing you do, back off. Because if you don't back off, you haven't got an audience. Mate, any chance, yeah, 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 I'm really busy at the moment. It's like, okay, my friend, okay, my friend, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. I'll leave you to it. I'm just gonna go over there. You let me know when you're ready. Another little phrase, I am here to help you. I am here to make your life easier. And you back off, because otherwise you've got no audience. So you anyway, normally that gets them on the back foot. They'll be like, oh, they've had a dig. The thing is, if you come in, if, you get, if they come in with this, and you go with that, you've got nowhere to go. If they come in with this, and you go with that, you might get that. If they come in with this, and you go with that, and it stays like that, you can always go to that. But you can't go from that to that. So go in with the open hand, go in kind and friendly, then you can slowly but surely get a little bit wound up and it counts. If you go in wound up, oh, I've got to get me load off, oh, I'm supposed to be here on a, that's going to get you nowhere. Counterproductive, so you back off. And then you hope you might go, well, maybe I was a bit hasty there, maybe I didn't need to jump in. But if you don't, 10, 15 minutes, you know, go back in and then you go back in again with this. Hello mate, how are we getting on? Everything all right there? You know, sort of a, you know, I know you're busy and it's like, oh, well, it hasn't turned out, or the Ford truck's not working, or it's not been charged, it was supposed to be fixed. So number two, what you do is listen. Listen to what the man has got to say. My old mate David Chris said, there's no point getting the needle with the four people that get in your cab because the first three have been an absolute nightmare because number four doesn't know that you've had three people out of you that have got grief. So you jump, you give the fourth person grief, what's the matter with him? So you got to be, you gotta, and listen, listen to what the man's got to say. Oh, well, what's that? And it normally will be the general, we're overstaffed, we're, we're understaffed, we're over, we're underpaid. Uh, there's supposed to be five people, four of them are called in sick, the full truck ain't working. And then, number three, empathy. Oh, mate, oh, that must be awful. Oh, yeah, Christ, oh, that's no good, is it? Oh, it just, yeah, you know, called in sick, Monday or Friday, is it? And then, suddenly, He's on his empathy. Yeah, well, yeah, you're right, mate. Yeah, absolutely. Then, empathy, you've got a mate then, haven't you? So you've got someone you can chat to who's on your side. In which case, like, oh, you've got no chance of getting loaded. You've four people in front of you. Turns, can turn into, what you got? I've only got two pallets, mate. All right, whip your curtain open. I'll get them on quick. They might still be a little bit rural, but you're getting loaded. They might not. A little bit of empathy, a little bit of a crack on, maybe a little bit of a joke, and you'll get that moody fork truck driver turns into a smiley fork truck driver. And what's more, two or three of them, if you're in the same place, before you know it, it's like, you can wait, you can wait. Morning, Pete, how you doing? Yeah, pull over there, mate, open your curtain, I'll get you loaded. It's not, it doesn't just apply to fork truck drivers. It applies, or gate people, or warehouse people. It applies to everybody in life. It applies to the lady at Tesco's who's putting your thing through, or the geezer who's pushing the trolleys round, or, Everyone's got a story. All you've got to do is give them a chance to tell it. People like talking. I like talking. <laughs> you probably know, I've done enough videos. But yeah, what do we do with um, moody fork truck drivers? Give them space, then listen to their problems, and then empathise. And then they're no longer a moody truck driver, they're a mate. 
And it's nice to have mates because mates help you take care and take money.